Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Frost, where we've made it here to the Kendall Hospital, used as like a little safe house mission in the base game for the railroad, but here, I'm using it for flipping supplies, because what I'm basically hoping for is uh, a possibility that this could be my base above ground, because we've cleared out the first floor, and it had itself a nice actual proper bed, and a weapons workstation and an armor workbench, and that's not common. There's a flipping actual bed as well, which would be marvelous to potentially get a little bit of. Oh, I'm famished right now. I need to, I need to eat some food, as well. Right, but I've also picked up a whole bunch of useful guns, so I could make some really, really good improvements to all my guns. All I need to find is any form of adhesive whatsoever, which is currently proving to be the most elusive thing. <laughs> Most elusive thing. It's a common drop. It's supposed to be a uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Actually, no, don't panic too much. Don't panic too much. Don't panic too much. Actually, panic a little bit. Time to give you your first run out. Uh yeah, that's absolutely fine. And stealth blade combat knife. Uh yep, yeah, there we are. Right. You over there. I can literally not afford to take a hit on you, but that's fine. We'll give it a go. If all he's got's a knife, then block and swing and oh yeah. I'm liking this faster. That's nice. Now, please, just have a... Ooh, a stun baton. Okay. That's not too bad. I'll take that and I'll take a bandage as well. Oh. No, no drama music. Calm down. He was on his own. Right. I'm liking that. I'm liking that quite a lot. And this feels calm. That's advanced locked irritatingly. There's more here yet, though. Bloody hell, of course there's more here yet. And we've got... Oh. Which way are you facing? You're facing forwards. Okay. Right. Yet more of those guys. Uh, hang on. I'm pretty safe down this end of the corridor, however. We've got ourselves medics, but still no... Oh, bloody hell. I wish at this point... I really wish I had that advanced lock picking. That would let me get past all of this. And there, down there, is where, presumably, the death claw still lives. He's going to kill me. So, yes. What I need to do is find myself some... Hmm. Find myself some adhesive. Can't really get past that guy without being killed. Can, however, drop a save. And actually, if I get like, I think it's a minimum of four hours sleep, I get a full health top up out of this. So that'll flip and do. Uh, I think four is the, four's the threshold for full health top up. I feel right. Lethargy. Great. So that's now action point. Refresh down. Actually, that's not as crippling here as in the base game. You do a lot more manual fighting. So that's all right, but still, that is, that's not great. Endurance minus four is a problem. Okay, eat every bit of food I've got on me. Ah, it's not much. I ideally need to find, ah, squirrel on a stick is acceptable. That's good food, as is this, I'll bet that's ratty. That's fine. Um, Everything else I could ideally crisp up, like squirrel bits and iguana bits, I can tend to crispy squirrel bits and crispy iguana bits, and mongrel dog meat I can cook as well which will be better. I'll take the cram and I'll eat the carrot and... Okay, that's hunger. I've got rid of famished at least. That's good. And that also gets endurance minus four down. Uh, fine, basically, with that save, uh, because I've got no way to... Actually, can I, can I just clamber through this here? Oh, this looks like a good sort of crafting room, doesn't it? That looks like a good sort of crafting room. Right, basically, I need to just sneak past this thing without it seeing me, which seems ridiculous and is ridiculous, but then the rules of sneaking are weird in Fallout 4 for us. Screw it and close. And is anyone in here? No one's in here, right? No, it's fine. Everything's okay. <laughs> Everything's fine. I need to just find something behind that thing to blow up. Um, And then it's... it's There it is! Oh! Okay. Don't, you know, think you can sneak up behind it too easily. You can't. Uh, right. Okay. Here we go. Uh, those elevators don't flip in. Oh, flipping heck. What have you just done? What was that? I think that might have been some form of explosive grenade. Okay, all grenades are explosive. You know what I mean. Right, back here. That's fine. Beds are useful. So there's definitely still one person alive over there. Uh, basically, I just need to sprint round here. That's a-okay. Now go back over to a gun, because one person is potentially going to pop up. There we go. Now what have you got exactly? You've got a... Oh dear. You've got a gun of some description. I see. I see you have a gun. Right, how, where is it? Oh. Or you've lost interest and wandered off. Either is fine. Right, back to searching. If I just basically sneak around here... Ouch! 
okay. Yeah, you just basically go around here. There's more flipping workbenches I don't care about. Ah, here comes... Here comes someone who's got a gun. Potentially a bag. I'm just going to close the door. If they want to come to me, they have to open the door. Yeah? You want to open the door? Where are you? Where did you just go? How much you got left in you? Not much, to be perfectly honest. Sometimes they just wander off in stupid directions as well. Ouch! Right. Got the shot off before I can get the shot on them. We need to go for Operation 100% Subtle and Going to Work. Which is basically just swinging at that. Yeah, you see, that almost worked. All I need to do is sprint up to that person while swinging madly and screaming with a machete. And sooner or later, I'll hit them in the head. There we go. Come on. Yeah! Nice. Only second attempt. Beautiful. And that was... Anything of interest? I think it was just a tactical pipe auto. Yeah, nothing too dramatic there. So his head's popped off. Good. Now at this point, I think the only angry thing... Wait, hang on. If this is... If this is here, and those lifts don't work, how am I supposed to be getting down to... Come on. To the level... Oh, bloody hell, there's still someone alive then. Fine. There's the office key. Right. So, shortcut. Where are you exactly? And yeah, now we've got that shortcut. I'm just going to go back to there and just drop a fake hours save just for the sake of doing that. Just so I don't need to bypass that guy again. Right, that job done. Who's next? It must be... Ah! You down there. Right, okay. Hello! Why don't you come over here, take a swing, and we've got... Oh! How did you block that? And then we've got... Oh, dear! I fell off the edge. Right, well, that's fine. Oh, hello! I've got a corpse friend. Hello, I see you and I know where you are now. Why don't you come over here to me, if at all possible. I've fallen down over here. Right, come over here. Come over here. Block and swing and... Oh, you're quite tough. Unless I just missed your, like, uh, head or whatever. And then just swing. Oh, good dodge. There you go. And one more. Dead. Beautiful. Right, you are quite low level. Uh, okay. Next up... Right, we're safe for the time being, because the undetected's pretty nice. Black baseball bats. Yeah, I had basically the same damage as you, except a bit on the slower side. Right, okay. We're safe down here, at least for the moment. Always back away from stalls, because they might have flipping traps, booby trap business. Okay, come on. Just give me that small psycho. That small jet. Drugs are fine. Ooh, another good thing here. Antibiotics! We found them! I'm so happy. I'm so flipping happy. Oh, we've got antibiotics. You know what? I think this is a good time to use those antibiotics. There's a flare gun. Ooh. Wait, hang on. No, that's... Well, hang on. Hang the flip on. By any chance with this mod, because it's vaguely New vegas -y, you know, they've written let go on every other flipping wall going. By any chance, would you have modified the flare gun to work like the New Vegas flare gun? Because that just strikes me as the sort of thing this mod might choose to do. Well, it certainly seems to do more damage than I think it did in the base game. I swear the flare gun wasn't anywhere near that powerful previously. So that's nice. But here's the big thing. Oh my. Oh flipping my. Antibiotics. So let's just, you know, remind ourselves how sick we are right now. Lethargy, fatigue and parasites at this exact moment in time. Leading to constantly being tired and hungry and all sorts. I'd say, let's get rid of all of that. That makes me thirsty, but oh, oh yeah. And uh, let's just, you know, minimise the risk of anything else going wrong. Because I've got some purified water right here. Only two, mind. That's not much. And now, okay, the only problem I've got now is alcoholism. Because antibiotics can't sort that out. Antibiotics just sort out the other stuff. But life is now so good. Okay. This trip to the hospital has been worth it just for finding one dose of antibiotics. And I totally was right to just do it immediately. Because, yeah, at that point I was suffering from three different illnesses. Now, if I could just now find one bit of duct tape. Or maybe, like, you know, even some military grade duct tape. If, like, say, a soldier was treated here. I would treat that as a kindness game. Down we go to the O. Is this the point of no return? If I drop down here, is there no way? No, there's no way back up. If I go down there, it's I'm basically fighting a death claw. Or rather, I have to fight my way to the exit. But that is... No. No. No, no. Actually, you know what? No. 
I'm going to go drop a save, and then we're going to go and see what's down there, because I've got the beds everywhere. Right, save dropped at the beds upstairs, in case this goes wrong, which it will. But I'm curious whether the death claw is still there, and if the death claw is still there, whether it's actually worth coming. Is it worth fighting a death claw in Fallout 4 Frost at level, I think, 7 right now? I'm going to say no. No, it's not worth fighting a death claw. Uh, maybe we just stay away from the death claw. Maybe we push the button. Yeah, and then, of course, it's Rad Central down here. I remember that. And then we have to just follow this thing around here to, like, reactivate the, the thing. So the death claws. There's the death claw. Yeah, he's still hunting me, by the way. <laughs> this is an example of a thing it is not worth doing. Glad I dropped that save. There's some corpses down here. People who've just been kind of, you know, fed to the death claw. I mean, it's nice to see that there's a flipping 10 millimeter or whatever, but... Despite everything I've just done, I don't think there's even any stuff down here in terms of... Oh, there's loads of guns, though. It's nice that there's loads of guns. Uh, you just... No, stay over there. Stay over... Right, well, he's about to murder me then. that That's fine. Okay, what if I just try and lead him around in a circle? By the way, what's this in here? There's... Yeah, of course there's no duct tape there either. Of course, let's not be flipping crazy. Right, circuit breaker. Ouch! Yeah, that was a bit optimistic. I have made an executive decision. I'm not going down there. That's just a thing that I'm not going to do. We're just going to stay up here in the happy area where I don't have to fight a death claw. Actually, what's kind of weird is I don't think I've actually seen a, um, a cooking station so far. Despite the fact this place was clearly being used as a base of some description. So, in which case, where did they, like, cook anything? Is that, that's not a, no, that's not a separate room back there. Um... One final check on my pass through this area, but incredibly, this entire flipping base area seems to not have a single flipping... Well, you know what? While I'm passing through, as I don't really want to come back here again, I'll go up to weight capacity on bottles, if there's nothing else floating around. And I'll do that purely so that I can convert those. That's an overdue book. It's not that useful. And I'll do that just because I can convert them into dirty water at a time of my choosing. Oh, hang on, there's this little area up here I haven't been to yet. There's another emergency flare. Now I'm over capacity. Short syringe rifle. Okay, but I'm never going to have the ammunition for that. But I found my way back into this here storeroom. Come on. Come the flip on. Come on, let's just, you know, wrap up this day in the perfect... Oh, of course you don't want to. Well, that's just flipping fine then. Whatever. I don't like you either, game. Uh, but definitely don't forget, there is just a missile launcher down here. So I may need to return for that there missile launcher. Because that missile launcher, in the right circumstances, could actually be quite... I couldn't use it to kill a... No. No. Don't even think about it. Because even if you can, there's that massive pile of rads down there. You don't want to take a massive pile of rads. That's the one thing you most certainly do not want to take. Like, you're going to be taking rads from eating irradiated food on and off regardless. So, most definitely not... Do not even think about fighting the Death Claw with a missile launcher. I'm mad, but I'm not that flipping mad. Right, time for Operation Probably Going to Die Again here. So now I just need to basically sprint around this corner. There we go. That thing totally wants to start firing, but has lost me. We've cleared the place out. And bear in mind, if I ever need leather for improving my own gear, but I'm going to need a load of adhesive to make that work. There is a whole bunch of dead raiders wearing leather gear. Everything's A-OK -okay in that regard. Right, so. We are in pretty good sh Well, mixed shape. I'm very close to building a new powerful super gun. However, the downside is, while searching for equipment to make the super gun, which I failed to find, I've used up all the ammo for the super gun. So, you know, it's a bit hit and miss, this plan. But you know what? This is a good base. This is a good base above the surface. I now don't have to run downstairs. No chemistry station, which is odd because this is a hospital. So, like, you know, mixing chemical stuff would be the one thing you would think you'd be able to do. But I guess it's been a hospital that's already been converted by raiders. So that's all fine. So I want to store a tactical 10mm and a muzzle calibrated power for 10mm. Okay. Those have been saved in order to just kind of save a little bit of weight here. Anything else? You know, I'm going to leave the pipe bomb. I haven't been using that. I'll keep grenades. Mines are useful. Keep those. I'm going to store the flare gun away together with the... Hang on. There's there's a difference between flare and emergency... 
Ah, right. So flares are presumably... Do they do that? I don't know. You know what? Let's not worry about it. Let's also store ammo we're not using in here. It doesn't exactly save much weight, but it'll save at least a little bit, especially the heavier ammo types. It'll make a tiny difference. Right. Those guns dropped off. Let's go and recover the single most important new bit of kit we have found for the time being. So I'm just going to nip back upstairs and I'm going to grab that hunting rifle. Right, here we go. So glow sight tuned hunting rifle. Seems pretty bloody good. So this old girl, 74 damage. A tuned receiver is... Okay, yeah, improved rate of fire. That's not so bad. We can definitely get it higher, but I'd need gun nut, which I'm not going to have. So, could go for heavy frame, but that would massively increase the weight. Yeah, that's probably about as good as it gets for the time being. It's all short for the time being. Glow sights is okay, but it would be nice for the rest of it. Okay. We are in okay shape for now. The serrated blade is a nice upgrade. Yeah, that's normally locked behind blacksmith too. So, that is a really nice thing to have. Okay. We've got a really good weapon there. We've actually managed to heal ourselves up here. And bear in mind, yeah, we should totally, absolutely just set that old girl as our new weapon to just kind of have on one side over there. So that's my proper rifle. It's lovely. But for the most part, I should probably just keep my serrated machete out. Okay. So, we have confirmed there is not a single sticky thing inside this entire flipping hospital. That means we now need to go... Yeah, exploring a little bit more widely. Problem is, that gets me up to 88 weight out of 92 immediately. Okay, don't take the rifle with me. Don't take the rifle. We can't justify it just yet. I'm just going to leave that here for the time being. We don't need a mega-powered rifle. If I run something difficult, I can come back and grab it. That's fine. But 11 weight, I can't justify it. I need to go out and loot for the time being. So, glow sight tunnel tuned, just leave that behind and leave the ammo for it as well. So, now I'm just going to quickly go upstairs and drop a save in that bed. Don't need a proper sleep though. And after that, we're heading out into the world and we're looking for glue because that's now the most important priority. It shifted from medicine to glue, damn it. Problem is, it's now the middle of the flipping day. Okay, but... With a recent save under my belt, there were wolves down there. Wolves that I could cook if I could find a cooking station. Yeah, that's it, actually. If this is going to be my new base, I now need to figure out what are the close-by important resources. So we've got the Cambridge Campus Diner right there in College Square there. Neither of them are that useful. I need to find a nearby water supply, which I can use to convert, yeah, bottles into dirty. Then need to find a nearby cooking station to convert dirty stuff into pure and indeed cook any meat. And ideally, I need to find a spot where there are animals. I'm a little bit too in the, in the center of town for my liking, really. I'd rather be having a base kind of, you know, outside of town, but screw it. At least it's close by to College Square and the ability to get back underground if need be. What is going on here? Ooh. That's not just a wolf, that's a- that's a flipping fast wolf! Just go, 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 and just- Oh, blimey. Glowing wolves. That's a concern. Okay, as the wolves are apparently glowing, that would logically make it acceptable to, like, potentially shoot said wolves. There you are, I see you there. That did nothing! Okay, uh, let's just kind of give that a go again. So, go, go! Go, and then go, and then go, and then go. Right, that was worth, apparently, quite a few XP. Did you by any chance have a massive family of other wolves? Yeah, more wolves, more wolves, more wolves. Right, okay, level up. Undetected. Whew, right, that worked out surprisingly well. Let's just take some wolf meat off you bastards. Okay, that's some food, but need to find out where to cook the stuff. Now, were you like, I don't know, the guard puppies of someone or something? Just need to figure out what's going on here, because this is... This presumably leads outside to... Is this the car park close by to the, the police station? No, I don't see it. Okay, because very often you will find people who have made little camps. Little camps in this area. Um, But that doesn't go down any further. This nips outside to up here... Yeah, okay. That's nothing major. In which case, let's just check up top. If there could be a cooking station set up here from some survivors who have, you know, were previously here, but were then eaten by a wolf, 
I would consider that a great flipping victory. But instead we've got... Weirdly, that doesn't go anywhere. This is... Hmm. Interesting. What's this building for? I can't remember what it does in the base game. Does this do anything? Ah! We're not up on the roof yet. Okay. That's just going down again. Right. Calm it down, because there might be... There might be more up here yet. By any chance, a bunch of extremely tasty baby wolves? No. Nothing. Right. That's a shame, but... Still a nice, easy... Yeah, okay. So we've just got this building here. Nothing major. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Two easy meats. Let's get downstairs and be on our way. If I don't clear this building out again, if I die, I won't consider it a great hardship. But now I just know, just head in there. You can, yeah, basically just clear out uh, the walls for two meat. Though some of them are a little bit on the tough side. My brain is telling me this is the college admin building, but I'm not sure how reliable my brain is. It does make mistakes sometimes. But that's definitely close by to here somewhere. That's about this part of the world. Or is this the... Ah, no. Campus law officers. Fine, yeah, college admins further further to the south, I think, and survivor. Okay, one survivor. I think there are two of them in there. And if there are, I've just set a grenade. So I wouldn't mind just basically getting that in there. Right, I think hopefully that's them taken care of. Yep, lovely. That grenade hits. It might have just, I swear I saw two. I swear I saw a second bit of movement in there. Uh, no, that was two. Marvellous. And I'm now thirsty. Uh, right, okay. So, we got you. You had nothing interesting on you. And you had slightly more interesting, but nothing that's going to be worth me actually killing you for. Yeah, sorry about that. That was unnecessary. But at this point, I'm just kind of killing people on the off chance they might have some duct tape. So, over the top we go. And yeah, now we're on this street here close by to actually where presumably close by to the river at this point. Oh yeah, and I've leveled up. I should actually remember to like, you know, do that because that might be like useful for stuff. Right. Level up. In fact, actually I'm a bit of the way towards level 8. Marvellous. Uh, now... I think I know what I want to do. 10% greater range. Yeah, much more accuracy on the old guns. But I'm low on ammo right now. I am low on ammo. So, arguably, I'd be better off just basically taking a bit more health. Yeah, I feel like a bit more health. Or, big leaks. Because this is clearly important. This is clearly an important thing, using melee weapons. I feel like I've got enough hitting... Okay, I'm going to take life giver. There we go. I feel better about that. We've got, oh, life. Actual flipping life. Nice. Like it. Out, back towards the, yeah, now that's definitely the, um, the fraternal outpost. So I know where I am now. And that is, well, that's super mutant territory in the base game. I might just poke my head inside, because the super mutants exist at this point in, in history. Because it's so soon after the war, maybe they don't exist yet. So, oh. Oh. No, survivors. Okay. This is fine. This is absolutely fine. Okay. I don't want trouble with you. I just basically want to come in here and help myself to just a few little bits and pieces. It looks like it's all pretty quiet. Okay, lights on. Just give me one duct tape and I'll go. Okay, I'll take your Abraxo cleaner though. I will take that extinguisher brown bottle. That way doesn't open. Terps. Anything. Ooh, bag of fertilizer. Right, I'll gladly take that. It's a bit on the heavy side, but I'll take that just for the purposes of... Oh yeah, of course, actually. Just to the south of Kendall. If I just go a clear route I've actually taken care of there, then logically, I'll actually have right there the river. I can just use the river for my drinking purposes. But again, I need to find a cooking station. Now, survivors tend to have set up camps, and it feels like maybe there's just the one up there. So if I'm very lucky, I might be able to just kill you. Mitty, there's still gore bags here, <laughs> or something very close to gore bags. So, you know, it's like you're anticipating the arrival of the super mutants very eagerly. Now, big question, are you going to be armed or not? Can't tell while you're sitting down. Uh, meat bags. 
Yeah, let's just... I think if I go this way... Yeah, you can't see a thing if I'm over there. Uh, so there's one of you up here. Then we've got more officers over here. Just, you know, please, just... Just tell me that the World Fan Society of duct tape was having a conference at the point when the bombs fell. Alright, ooh, that is... No, that's a full asset. That doesn't mean I can actually have any of that stuff off him. Okay. Round here. Novice locked door, fine. Right, got you. Now, did lose a bobby pin, however, doing that. Because, yeah, bobby pins are a lot more... Fragile, or rather, locks, even novice locks, are a lot harder than they used to be. Right, okay. I'm hoping the only guy is one survivor up. Oh! Okay, they're searching. But wherever they're searching, they're not. They're not exactly close to me. Right, round the back. Round the back. Round the back. Stay safe. Stay out the way. Right, there's another route to get upstairs if I wanted to loop round the back of him. I'm going to guess they are all upstairs. There's some more booze. Could do some booze just to get rid of my sanity problems. Okay. No one in here. I think they're just upstairs from me. Okay. That's all fine. So, <gasps> I love you. I love you and your horrible, squishy, kind of falling apart face. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Also, they've... They weirdly decided to get rid of the... Oh. I forgot there was an upper thing there that anyone could look down from at any point. Just take a subway token. That's fine. Right, okay, just... Quickly grab the stuff. Grab the stuff. Ooh. Shotgun shells. Don't need the shotgun, though. I've got one of those back underground. Okay. Don't take that. What have we got in the trunk? And it is Wonder Glow adhesive times two. Boom. Okay. We've got what we wanted. Or at least we've got the basics of what we wanted here. I'm famished from lack of food. Well, I need to find a bloody cooking station. Still, if I had a cooking station, I'm in trouble in that regard. Okay. Um, that doesn't lead anywhere, does it? That's just the dead end. Yeah, that's just the dead end there. Fine. We do, however, have another back room over here. Okay. I kind of need to murder these people just for the sake of... Ooh, Instamash. That's nice. Ah, but no, I don't want to take... I don't want to be doing anything. Did I just see Cram? Did I just see Cram? I thought I saw Cram. I'm imagining Cram at this point. This is where I've got to. I don't want to take irradiated food. Because I've just done antibiotics and it took a very long time to find those antibiotics. Yeah, I thought I saw Cram. Excellent. Um, I don't want to have to, like, you know, get sick again immediately. Because it might be worse. Like, it might be infection. Infection, I'm as good as dead. At that point, I'm just screwed. I'll need to be constantly healing just to stay flipping alive. Right, if it's survivors. Actually, no, wait, hang on. I don't need to worry about insanity. Because I have got myself drugs and booze and stuff. So I'm just gonna do all the booze in the world. Alright, that's the that's just a back door. Fine. So let's just head up here and murder them. Right, bring it on. Bring it on. I've got plus strength right now. Wherever they are, they're around here somewhere. They're around here somewhere. Oh. This might not be a terrible base either. Close to the water. We've got some more duct tape. Nice. Okay. Well, this place is friendlier in terms of the supplies it's handing over. That's certainly true. Potentially moving my base out to here would not be the worst thing in the world. Oh. Oh, oh, we're very close to being detected right now. Uh, but, yeah, okay, it's got... Hang on, what's that? That's that's the armour. That's the armour bench. Fine. If there's a weapons bench and these guys have maybe got a cooking station, I will consider this, you know, meant to be. Meant to flipping be. Okay, around here, I don't see... Was that a magazine? Is that a... Nope, that's just an asset next to a telephone. Uh, okay. Watch out. It might just be this one person. This whole thing. Okay, let's just get rid of those. Where are you? Is it literally just the one person standing over there? If it's just one person sitting over there, I might just kind of sneak up on that person with my new stealth combat knife and be really super badass and awesome and just knife them in the back. Because that would be really damn cool. That wasn't a person moving. That was the bracket. Oh, uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. 
Where? What? Okay, hang on. Oh, he's got a gun. He's 100% got a gun. Right, okay. Go, 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 to this side, to this side, to this side. Right. Now. You, my good man, have a gun. But I think actually... Oh, hang on. Was that just the blurb of a, um... Of an actual turret? That might have been the blurb of a turret. Right, if you like sitting down... Why don't you just sit down and ideally face that way? Because if that's a thing you like doing... Okay. Our opportunity to be extremely badass has just arrived. Now remember how we move. We move slowly, incredibly slowly, in really, really short, slow... Uh-oh. Okay, you don't just stay sat there. You move. Right, and that is... That's also a locked door. Hmm. Okay. Possibly the best thing we can do is actually just rush him because he doesn't have his gun out right now. Right, here we go, 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 and go and swing to the head. Whew. Right, that was indeed the right way to go. Letter to Martin. Well, I'm sorry, Martin. I don't think this is going to work out well for you. Right, I have a look see here. So, letter to Martin. Let's read the letter to... Oh, we can't actually. We need to do uh, open that in a second. Right, that is 21 damage, but I've got tons of ammo. But it doesn't actually have a, a scope. It's not as good as the one I've got sitting at home, so don't bother. Now have we got... Yeah, that was literally just you. Literally just you living here. All right, that's fine. That is... Is that just literally the... Why is that door locked? For what possible reason is that door locked? All right, fine, whatever. Uh, so I'm pretty sure we... Oh, unless, of course, there's... A... Uh-oh. Sneaker... Oh, wait, hang on. It's... Hello? Yes? Huh. All right. That's that's interesting. That's interesting. Possibly I could have actually... Ooh, crystal liquor decanter. I'll take one of them. Uh, possibly I could have actually just used this to... Ooh, safe. Well, much safer to do the executive terminal than waste a bobby pin now that locks are much more tricky. Ah, turret. Leave that off. Absolutely. Safe control. Disengage the lock. Marvellous. Okay. Got ourselves safe there and leave the turret deactivated. Uh, very little of any worth there, but screw it. Every little helps. That's my bottle. Bottles are good. So, anything else here of note at all? I do not believe so. Uh, large baby bottle. I think the toy card does have a screw in it. I'll take that. Oh, no, no, I won't. Oh, hang on. What's all this in here, by the way? Oh, toy trucks for some reason. And tragically, though, no cooking station. So, this place is still not quite the perfect Goldilocks porridge of bases that I was looking for. But, it will do as a little, just, you know, visiting spot on occasion. But, I've now got what I was looking for. I should head back to base, and I like the fact I've now got a base. I'd say back to base, I don't mean like, you know, crawling underground back to the cell I woke up in. No, 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 no. I've got a base now. It's got stuff in it, like proper clean beds and all of that. It's really good. Though, actually, I do need to find the... Where's the nearest bloody cooking station? Also, hang on. Hang on. There's... Oh. Uh-oh. 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 There's just ferals around the side of that building. Start just moving away. Start just moving away. Start just moving the flip away and just, oh right we've we've got problems on every side right now we got we got multiple layers of problems actually um so as it turns out yes yeah we got okay we might need to clear out a little bit more stuff before we consider this place you know like a friendly safe home or whatever uh because there are yeah survivors raiders etc all sorts house Okay, the founder's fading. The founder's fading. Okay, they haven't managed to track us down. Okay, good, good, good. Have I, have I managed to make my way home? I don't know. I'm suddenly lost. Whatever that was, whether it was the survivor or the ghoul that was in the end hunting for me there, they did not find me. Yeah, this base is not bad, but it's a bit too aggressively far away from water and also a cooking station. Yeah, that uh, that is a bit of a problem, true. Right. Let's get back to base. One thing I hadn't even considered earlier, by the way, my new base actually has glowing fungus growing in it. 
I've actually just got, like, glowing fungus just, like, you know, here. So I can actually make new fungal purchases. Wait, no, I can't. The whole point is I can't. You don't have a chemistry station. Look, we've got most good things here. All right, we'll find the perfect base sooner or later. I'm mildly deep bloody hydrated. You see, here's the thing. I might just want to, rather than, like, putting new stuff on this, I might want to use the muzzle calibrated as the base for my new one. Because no muzzle. Fine, so I can take the muzzle off there. That's nice and easy. Uh, it's got the comfort grip. Okay, I need to... I need to get the light long barrel on it. That's fine. But the calibrated powerful is nice. Okay, so, yeah, that's what we need to do. So, tactical 10mm has nothing good on it that I actually want, with the exception of the reflex sight. So, we need to create standard sights. Standard sights has been created for that. Okay, that's absolutely fine. So, that's now just the comfort... Now it's just a comfortable gun. It's just a lovely, comfortable gun. Um... This is the... Now that's the quick high-capacity calibrator powerful because I took the muzzle off it. So now that instead needs to gain reflex sight. Boom. Uh, and it needs to have the silencer and the long light. So the long light needs to be taken off either of these. Uh, that's fine. That's apparently really super easy to do. So we'll just stick a short barrel on there. And now we'll also take the suppressor off that, which you don't need to replace with anything. So both of those are fine. So now the tactical calibrated powerful becomes long and light, which increases its range and accuracy. Nice. Okay. And more importantly, much more importantly, suppressor. Now that hinders the range, but increases the accuracy, which I think suits me better anyway. So now that is a, hang on, a suppressed calibrated powerful 10 millimeter that also is comfortable to hold very very important indeed there just for yeah hit fire accuracy fine and a large quick eject magazine which is actually the best you can get that's normally locked behind gun nut too and i've just got it here oh yeah 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 i think i'm pretty bloody happy with that i'm pretty bloody happy with that indeed so in which case, we've got our stealth blade, we've got a serrated machete, we've got a silenced, powerful, oh, beautiful, 56 damage on a pistol. That's so flipping nice. Both of these have... Okay, let's just double check. None of them have anything I need. Nothing good on there. Nothing good on there. Fine. Break them down just for apparently some wood too. Marvellous. And this one as well. Five steel. Oh, yeah. That... That's more flipping like it. Now, now we have got a mighty, mighty gun. Oh, yeah. Look at this bad boy. It's actually got... It's not a scope, but it's got a sight. It's actually got a sight on it. For sniping purposes, that is going to be a lot flipping better. Only seven bullets, mind. Only seven bullets, but we can find more. All right, this, this here is a good starting point. We've got a base. We've got it secured. We have got, like, I would say, by flipping far, the best loadout of weapons we've had for some time. This is some really, really nice stuff. A great melee weapon. A great backstabbing weapon there as well. In fact, actually, this thing is so fast, I might just want to use it in general. That's just flipping lovely. And finally, of course, the suppressed, calibrated, oh yeah, silenced, kind of a bit scoped, powerful, 56 damage a shot. This should be taking down anything with a headshot right flipping here. We are in good shape. So, next moves, ladies and gentlemen. In fact, I'm trying to remember if we found a single cooking station. Ah, oh, we did. We have found a cooking station over at the Bean Town Brewery. Fine. You know what? That might not be the worst direction to go in at all. Next time, ladies and gentlemen, I think we will be staying above ground, in fact, but we are going to be heading over towards the west because the Beantown Brewery will let me cook up some very nice food, some nice wolf ribs and all sorts of other useful stuff indeed that I've got in my inventory right now. And then, well, potentially, as medicine does seem to be inevitably important sooner or later, can't help but have a think that Fort Hagen is around this sort of... No, it's a little bit further south. It'll be like around this sort of area. Fort Hagen's somewhere around here, and there is the medical facility, very close by, very small, and generally just populated by little bugs right next to it. That might make a nice location to visit. Or I could go and try and clear out the police station. I might actually be ready to try and do that at this point. 
That's very, very close by indeed. Cambridge Polymer Lab's actually just down the road from Fraternal Outpost. That might have some medicine and other science and other useful loot going on. Then we might also have a peek next week on what's going on at Diamond City. People have told me don't go to Diamond City, it's dangerous. But I want to at least have a little look-see what's going on. Because if I can just basically get down to the river... The river potentially is not the safest route, but it's safer than sneaking through the back street. It might be useful to have an explore in that part of the world. Because then, if I could just kind of loop up with Oberland Station, maybe actually go and turn that out. But if I turn it into a base, I'll lose some carry capacity. Yeah, that might be a bit difficult. Because, yeah, the way this works has now changed. Wanderer is now if you control no settlements. That's ten weight I'd be sacrificing. That is... Not something I think I'm willing to do. So possibly we'll stay away from settlements for the time being. I'm not sure they're doing me that much good anyway. Especially as it would appear settlements don't even produce purified water anymore. It's dirty water being pumped out of the ground. I guess it makes sense this soon after the war. Yeah, the nuclear fallout will contaminate the water table entirely. And that would just fade over time. So by the time of normal fallout, that's faded. But it's not just yet. Still... The exploration of Boston begins in full next week, ladies and gentlemen. And then, well, actually, ooh, we could start heading north. I'll have a think about that. Now someone's conveniently put Concord on our map for no well-explained reason. I could just try and head over to Sanctuary Hills. Like, I know Sanctuary Hills has got everything I flipping want. Unless, of course, the mod's mean enough to actually take it out. Yeah, that's an option too. I could actually, now I'm in much better shape, start heading northwards. And start thinking about a home in Sanctuary Hills. We shall see, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Fallout 4 Frost. Thank you very much. And goodbye. No, sadly, I cannot be the Santa Claus of murder tonight. So apparently, even though this thing is... Oh, no. No, you can't. No, you most certainly can't. Okay. Is that the symbol meaning I'm about to pull her over? Yep, there we are. There we... Oh. I feel like she didn't necessarily survive that. No, she's very dead.